So <laughs> as you saw from the title, I got a haircut and yeah, that's right. We're just jumping right on into it because ain't nobody got time. I don't even know where to start, but I will say that I, as of today, I don't hate it. Okay, I feel like I'm jumping ahead, like way too far ahead. So I really, really, really want to get to the reason why I got my hair cut. One, it's just, it's time. The last time I cut my hair was when I cut it myself. And it wasn't the greatest, uh, but it wasn't horrible. So I've been telling myself, let's get this appointment scheduled, go get your hair cut, you need to get this done. And in addition to that, it was like, I've been going back and forth with myself. Okay, do I want to big chop my hair? Do I want to grow out my hair? Because a part of me does want to grow out my natural hair color and no longer dye it anymore. I don't know, I just, I do enjoy having the blonde hair, not gonna lie, I it's one of the favorite, one of my favorite colors that I've had, but I've been getting that feeling where it's just like, you know what, maybe it's time to just grow out my natural hair color, grow out my natural hair. I know that processing my hair, coloring it, causes it to, the growth of my hair to be much slower than it would be if I were just having my natural hair color, you know what I mean? So a part of me wants to experience like my hair at its 100% best because let's be real, it's not. When you're doing anything chemically, processing your hair anyway, it's not allowing your hair to be its best. And it is what it is but I'm at a point where I'm kind of like not exactly over it. Like I said, I still do love having my hair blonde, but I'm ready for another stage of my hair. So that's where we got here to me getting a haircut. <laughs> Let me just tell you how the story went. I made an appointment with the stylist. I sent her some pictures of my hair so she would know what she was would be working with and she told me to come with my hair wet where her business is at versus where I live is about 45 minutes away so I washed my hair and everything before going to her so I got there and I told her you know I, I want to get a haircut I want to trim it I want it to be shorter than what it is now and she was like okay it's you know she suggested layers because of my face shape and so it was like that's works fine for me. I'm cool with that. And so as soon as we settled that, she just started chopping my hair. And in that moment, I was kind of confused because like I said, I had washed my hair before going. So it wasn't fully dry. There were still parts of it that were wet and parts of it that were dry. So it would have made sense to me that for her to cut my hair, to dry my hair, before cutting it um, to make sure it was fully dry or wet it before cutting it. You know, it just, she cut it in a state that it was partially stretched because of it's still wet and partially shrunken because it was dry. So I don't know, it wasn't off to a good start, but when she started cutting, she cut off a lot of hair. And at that point there was no turning back. And it was kind of like, okay, my hair's been cut a lot. And I'll show you like the layers, like this is super short. Um, and this was probably, <laughs> probably went down to here. So it's definitely over six inches. I'd say minimum of six inches that was cut and more. Six inches and more cut off of my hair. Um, just all around. So like my longer parts like this, would have definitely reached down to here. So I'd say like five, six inches. Um, and yeah, she just started chopping away. And I, 
saw myself in the mirror and was like, oh my gosh, like, you know what, YOLO, we're already here. Let's just, let's just do it because I can't, it can't be undone and we're here. When I first left that salon, I wasn't happy. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't happy. I felt like this side was shorter than this side. It was a little lopsided. And even the products that she used, which the way that she used them, she was very light-handed and I'm definitely a heavy-handed kind of gal when it comes to hair products. So, you know, I'm not gonna fault the products and I definitely would give them a try, you know, my way but I wasn't happy with how my hair was when I left. As soon as I got home, I started cutting some of the parts that just looked uneven. Like you could see that she left the front mostly long and then she just kind of layered, layered the rest of my hair, um, which I don't think it looks bad. I actually have grown to like my hair over the time that I've had to do it and get adjusted to it. And I don't feel like it looks crazy short, um, but I will like include a picture, uh, the picture probably that I sent her before getting my hair cut. And I'll even show you the picture of the day of how my hair was looking, okay? And it's only been a week since I got my hair cut. So it's not like it's grown a ton or something like that, but I'll show you what it was looking like first day because that first day was not, I was not feeling, I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? And you know, I'm just gonna go get braids in my hair and let it grow for a couple months. <laughs> so the next day I washed it and I put products that I knew would work well in my hair that have worked well in my hair before. And I'm like, if these can't fix it, then only Jesus can, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Um, I used the TGIN uh, rose water products and it actually worked really well with it. And this is, this is totally different product than that, but it had a very similar effect and I was like, okay, I was able to get a hold of myself and you know, what I thought would be, you know, nightmare hair was like, this is not bad we can we can do this we can do this with just the way that it was styled um but my first week having it you know having experience and just dealing with it has been so different for me you know just experiencing how to do my hair now versus before even how i refresh my hair is a little bit different than how i would do it before when my hair was longer so i don't hate it now like my first week i was getting used to it but even you know, trying another product that, or products that I knew work well, like I'm, I'm having hope, um, with my hair. So like, as of right now, I actually don't hate it. It's summer, you know, or summer is right around the corner. And that's kind of why I got it cut. I want to grow out my hair. I want it to be healthy and it's getting hot. And I wanted to be able to, feel lighter and airier. Um, so that was the main reasons why I got my hair cut. But yeah, I mean, I don't know what you guys think of it as, like I said, as of today, I like it. I don't hate it as much as I did the first couple of days. I was, I kind of felt like, ugh, like I didn't cry or anything because like I said, it's going to grow back. And I know that trying to put my hair up it's not as as easy as it was before like it's like a tiny little ponytail so this is this is it now and even when I do like my pineapple it's like it's a challenge to get it all in there but I mean it is what it is right <laughs> I am Looking forward to growing out my natural hair. No more blonde. That's going to be tough. Not going to lie. Yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on my new-ish hair. And also, you know, I have been gone for a minute. Um, I got a new job. And we recently bought a house. So that's exciting. 
Uh, our house is in the process of being built and it won't be ready till later this year. So we are super excited about that. And yeah, I've just been kind of busy with family and work and just kind of mentally taking a hiatus and relaxing. And I hope to jump back in and start bringing regular content to my channel once again. That's my story. This is the new hair. I would love to know your guys' thoughts about it. Do you guys think that it's looking crooked? Because this, this is the side that I was thinking was like a little bit shorter and maybe lopsided versus this side. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Am I crazy or can you see it? Uh, do you like it? Do you hate it? Did I make a mistake? What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> But, I mean, it is what it is at this point, right? Like, there is literally no turning back. If you enjoyed this video, this update on my hair, and moving forward, how these videos, is like this, this length we're going to be working with, <laughs> please feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're there, you might as well hit that subscribe button down below if you want to see more from me and of course <laughs> and of course as always thank you so so much for watching i truly appreciate you and i hope to see you in my next video bye